Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a short strand of polynucleotide. Now we have to remember that the polynucleotide could be a DNA a strand or an RNA. So to be able to draw that the basic structure that we need to know is that of a nucleotide. So let's first draw a short strand of RNA because that's simpler it's single stranded so it's easy to draw. Um, let's start from the bottom and go way up that is every nucleotide has a pentose sugar okay if this is RNA so it will have a, a ribose sugar then there will be a nitrogenous base this is a uh, 1 2 this is the 3 prime position 4 and this is the fifth carbon outside the chain so outside the chain there will be a phosphate attached to the fifth carbon okay now this phosphate is going to make another phosphodiester bond with the next sugar that is here in the 3 prime position so remember this is the 3 dash position and this is the 5 dash position here is again nitrogenous base nitrogenous base again this this is a fourth carbon attached to it is a fifth five prime and to the five prime is attached the phosphate this is again bonded to the three prime of the next um, nucleotide which is again attached to another nitrogenous base and so on so this is a short strand of uh, RNA you can see three nucleotides and you can continue showing the 5 prime to 3 prime direction over here now if I want to draw a short strand of DNA how will I show that we have to remember that DNA has two strands and they are anti parallel strands so one will run in this direction and the other will run in the opposite so this is how we will draw this time let me write adenine or guanine uh, to show you what base pairs we have adenine guanine thymine or cytosine let's say this is A then we have a phosphate here connected to 3 prime let's say this is a thymine connected to a this actually had to, has to be bent say this is a cytosine phosphate attached to so this the sequence a t c g g g a s a c whatever you want you can keep it's a random sequence and say this is a g guanine and so on you can continue drawing the phosphates so this is one strand here you can see the 5 prime to 3 prime 5 prime to 3 prime bonding of phosphodiester bonds this is one and this is one two ester bonds to phosphodiester linkages this is again 5 prime so you can see the strand this is the um, this is this strand starts from a 5 and then ends at a 3 prime so we are going to yes this chain is plus proceeding from the 3 prime to 5 prime end and this is how we show this strand 
the other strand will be this way that is from this end to this end this is 3 prime to 5 prime so now here there will be a C which is bonded to a sugar and this um, sorry this is downwards this is bonded to a phosphate and now again down to draw the sugar downwards this is downwards this one got slightly tilted this is also a G complementary base pairing is happening you can draw dotted lines to show hydrogen bonds between G, C and A and T here I am going to draw an adenine complementary A phosphate here can phosphate so you can see the sugars are now just opposite direction this one just went wrong slightly this is A and this is a T ok so this is you can see the 5 prime end is free here this is a 5 dash but the 3 here this is a 3 3 prime carbon that is the beginning so this is this strand is anti parallel to the other strand so this is a short strand of the DNA molecule showing two strands complementarily base pairing with each other and the other one is a short strand of RNA thank you